Hey guys, it's Anne hopping on behind my apron. We have a little bit of a late lunch plan, so I thought I'm gonna go live and show you guys this because it's also Taste Buds Tuesday. And I don't know how many of you know what that means, but that means I receive, because I'm a subscriber, three pantry products a month, plus the recipes and ideas to use those to add some new main dish entrees to my cooking. So Taste Buds is a product from us at The Pampered Chef. So I'm gonna share with you about it today with the recipe. But who likes salads for your meals? We know we do here, but how about you guys, okay? So what we're making today is roasted shrimp salad. And this is a recipe I wouldn't have done before. So I'm super excited about it. Um, and, and Taste Buds, by the way, they're on special right now, so you can take a peek at that too. But let's get cooking. So I've already put the shrimp, um, uncooked shrimp, in the batter bowl, and I've added some of the smoky applewood seasoning, which is from the Taste Buds, because that's what it instructed me to do. And then it says I need to add grape tomatoes. So I wanna show you something um, as I do that because I'm going to take grape tomatoes and I'm actually going to fill this close and cut surface with grape tomatoes because this actually is a recipe where we're going to roast these tomatoes and shrimp together. So I like these to be split in half, but I also use this a lot when I wanna split a chicken breast, I wanna split grapes, um, things that you want to change the size or maybe you want to stuff a pork chop so you could lay a pork chop in here and then just cut halfway through now there's springs so if you see this I'm pushing in the lid and it's changing so I'm actually going to shut the lid on these tomatoes and it's not squishing them because there's a spring see they're still all there but what's so cool about it is you take a really long knife this is our chef's knife take it it's so it's got to be long enough to go across the product and then right here where you shut it, you just run the knife and let it cut all the way through to the back. Whoops, I just got off track because I was trying to look up and talk to you guys too. Let it cut all the way through to the back. And then look at this. So I will turn these over so you guys can see them and I'll take these off the blade so you can see what I did here. It already cut the tomatoes for me. So it cut them in half. So I'm gonna go back to this batter bowl. I'm gonna throw the tomatoes in there. And then we're gonna mix them up because we also have to put a little bit, whoops, lost a piece, a little bit of seasoning in here. So we're marinating this for 10 minutes. And so um, we're gonna add a tablespoon of oil, mini measure all cup to the rescue here, because then the next ingredient is a tablespoon of honey. So I'm just gonna read on the measurements to get to my uh, correct tablespoons because you can see through here. And I'm gonna do the opposite end because the honey is sticky. So I'm going to go down, I need one tablespoon of olive oil. So I'm just gonna follow it to the tablespoon mark. And then I need, set that down, one tablespoon of honey. So I'm going to squeeze the honey till it gets filled to the top. And you can use this on things like Crisco, mayonnaise, peanut butter, caro syrup, granola, um, you know that uh, molasses that some people put in it. And we're gonna fill this till it rises uh, to the top of the edge there. So it's at the that two tablespoon mark total now. And then you just tip it over and slide it up and then I'll scrape off the sticky stuff. And then lastly, it calls for lemon juice, but in our house, we prefer limes. So I'm going to just take this lime and I'm gonna give it a cut. And I'm going to use the citrus press. Put half of a lime, lime down, give it a squeeze. You want about a tablespoon of the um, lemon or lime juice. And by doing that, that was only about half of that half of lime. So I'll show you what we're gonna do with the other half in a minute. So we have this uh, stirred together and mixed, as you can see. And then I am going to put it on a single layer in the small stoneware bar pan. Actually, I'm gonna grab a spoon here, might be easier. So I'm gonna scoop this out with the dressing, putting it on my bar pan. 
And then I'm gonna roast this for 10 minutes. And by roasting it, it's cooking the shrimp and it's releasing all the flavor of the tomatoes that we've got going on here. And so, see if I can get it all to fit on one tray. And as you can see behind me, I have the air fryer door open because that is how I want to roast it today. Much easier when it's warm out than turning on a great big oven. So it fits on um, the small bar pan, both in metal and in stoneware, fits in our air fryer perfectly. And then, do you see this? I also have an ear of corn in here because I'm gonna roast the corn because that goes in this salad as well. So we have all the options up here from air fry, bake, roast, rotisserie, reheat, and dehydrate it. I'm just rolling it over to roast because I want to roast this. I want to go to 10 minutes and hit the button and let it start. And if you guys already have our air fryer, it's one of my favorite things. Um, but these little gems, you all should have these. These are the little micro grips. They are perfect for pulling out those hot trays with your food on. So while that's roasting, I will finish doing the rest of the salad, which means kind of make the dressing. But I also have our big colander here where I've already washed our greens. I love that, so I'll blend it there. We're gonna take a red onion and I am gonna slice that real quick. We just want some thin, paper thin red onion slices to go. This is the simple slicer. So if you uh, haven't used this, I love it because of the finger saver prongs. So you literally can just put your product right here and then it will do the slicing for you. So put it in, saves your hands, let it do the paper thin running. So let me just show you this, like that thin, you guys. Okay, paper thin, so you can take it apart for all the products. So we're gonna put some red onion in this uh, recipe. That's probably plenty for us. Then we're gonna put some avocado in. So again, I'm going to just take my avocado. I'm going to, this one's pretty ripe, so hopefully it's okay when I cut it open. Make a cut all the way around. Oh yeah, spin it open. I like to use a sharp knife to just go right into the pit like that. It'll hold it up and you can gently do a twist. And then just for safety reasons, you guys, grab the pit off with a paper towel, okay? And then I'm gonna use that same spoon I used to scoop out an avocado because we want this slice to go on our salad also. And you could slice or dice it yourself um, with a knife, of course, but don't forget, you can do great, beautiful slices really quick on the quick slice here that I'm laying it on. So I've got both halves out. Now, by the way, if you only wanted half of an avocado because you don't need to eat the whole thing today, did you know that if you take it just like this bright green and put it in the freezer, it will stay perfectly bright green and ready to use? And it is just a great nutrition to add to all kinds of things from smoothies to the next salad you make to fresh salsa and guacamole or something like that. But I'm just gonna slice it with the quick slice because then look at this. These beautiful slices are already ready to lay out on the salad, okay? So back to the dressing though that we need to make. We're gonna make it right here in just a little prep bowl because it just takes three cup or three tablespoons of sour cream. So I'm going to just scoop out three tablespoons of sour cream. Hopefully you guys can still see me. And then we're going to whisk together, uh, let me say another tablespoon and a half of olive oil. So this time I'm only using olive oil. So I'm going to use the other side of this measure all cup where you can read the measurements because there is a pouring spout and we will be whisking that olive oil in. It also says to juice the other half of the lime or lemon. So I'm going to squeeze the other half of that lime in here to make this dressing. And then smoky applewood rub is what came in the taste buds. It also comes in our bottles and it calls for a tablespoon of it. And you guys, a little secret. Did you know that the lids hold about a tablespoon too? So if you don't have to be exact, just dump that in. And then this is our flat bottom whisk. 
and you can see I'm just whisking the dressing. So this is what will go over the greens and the roasted shrimp tomatoes. We'll, we'll take the corn off the cob, we'll add the corn, the red onions, the guacamole, and it makes just a beautiful roasted shrimp salad. So if you need some inspiration, maybe Taste Buds is the answer for you. One of the things I love about it, I will tell you, is because when this comes, I might not have time to cook it right now. In fact, this came a while ago, but then I could get the ingredients and cook it when it worked on my schedule. So that makes it a lot of fun. And the products that I used today, these are tools I use in the kitchen multiple times a week from the air fryer, the colander, the measure all, citrus press. So you guys, put in the comments below, let me know what of these you have and that you absolutely love too, and why does it save you some time or make the job easier? Um, that makes it the most fun. And then it is also fall season, so don't forget to share my video on your timeline so people know we have a new season, new products, and new specials. So keep cooking, and I'll be back behind the apron soon.